Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Marianne, and today I'm going to talk about Haunt, which I'm already experiencing that, like, super bad sadness you get right after Halloween when you're just so pumped the entire month, and then it's just over, and everyone is focused on Christmas, and you're just like, but more Halloween. And... Every day is Halloween, right? So I watched this because I am, in fact, a huge fan of fake haunted attractions. So I had very high hopes. The movie centralizes around Harper and her friends. They're all college kids. And they don't really mention this in the trailer, but Harper is a, a victim of domestic abuse, presumably from her boyfriend because she does have a black eye. And we learn later in the movie that this is a unfortunate pattern that she's had to deal with her whole life, which sucks, and that's real horror, and that's the stuff that bothers me. So her friends convince her to come out with them to go to a party. They end up leaving the party, and they're on their phones trying to figure out what haunted attractions are near them. And it just so happens that a fluorescent light goes off on the side of the road where they are, that's like, hey, come in, it's a haunted house and we're open. Which, of course, they do. So they come up, they have to sign waivers, they have to hand over their cell phones, and they get walked through. And, of course, it's like the stereotypical kind of stuff, you know, the, the props that jump out at you, the people that are lurking, and the quiet ones that stare at you, the ones that jump out and scream and follow you. And then they get to go to different guided options, like choose this door, go down this path, blah, 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 blah. They witness what they think is a staged scene with a girl in a body bag. And they find out very quickly that it is not staged. And these uh, people running the haunt are probably going to kill them. And it's going to be scary. And they have to figure out a way to get out of there. I'm going to leave it off here as it is spoiler free. <clears throat> like I said, I'm a huge fan of the fake haunted attractions. I love them very much. Me and the groom get to go to them every year. That's kind of like part of our anniversary celebration type thing since our anniversary is the beginning of November. Um, I like to watch movies that are around haunted attractions because I can put myself in it in a different perspective as I am visually impaired. When people get split up, I get a little bit more on edge because if I'm split up, I am incredibly vulnerable and I'm probably not going to find my way out on my own. This actually happened the last attraction we went to a few weeks ago. It was right before a corn maze and they split us up in two groups and I got separated and I was in such a bad mood, just completely salty, trying to walk through picture really not being able to have anything other than a little bit of light perception, knowing there's corn and, you know, rebar just stabbed in the ground that if you trip, you're probably going to, like, impale yourself. And this is all you're thinking about. Actors are coming up and hassling you and you're just being the biggest bitch in the world. And they're like, oh, don't you want to stay here? And you're like, I guess I'm gonna have to because I can't see anything. And they're like, oh, okay, um, go that way. Bye. I made it out, but I was very upset. <laughs> I've come to realize that the actors in haunts tend to target me because they think I'm scared when in fact the groom is holding my hand and walking in front of me because I can't see. I'm not scared. I just have vision problems. They also always tend to bonus. <laughs> they like to pop up on this side. I have nerve damage, so I don't have peripheral sight at all in this side. So do they do that thing where they're like right next to you and trying to scare you and they think you're in, they're intimidating you. And then once they're doing it for five minutes and I'm completely not reacting to them or like catch them with an elbow by accident, they're like, oh, okay, and just go away. Completely off topic, but I could totally put myself in the position of these kids just like 
I'd be so screwed. I'd be the most screwed of screwed if I got separated because I'd probably just have to stop and be like, well, they have my phone, so I can't even use my flashlight to try to figure out where I am. And if I call for help, they're just going to murder my face right then and there. So what, what are you going to do? I mean, I'm in all honesty, it, if, if I was in this movie, I'd probably die pretty fast. Or I'd, um, I don't know. I'd probably die. <laughs> but anyways, I felt like, uh, the, the little tricks and traps that they use in this movie were very funny. Some of them, uh, there was a girl that was, I think she was training to be a doctor. So she would go into medical terms with everything. And I thought it was hilarious. You know, the one part where they have to stick their arm through and try to figure out what body part it is. And then we find out later, like it's spaghetti and like peeled grapes. Like the peeled grapes are supposed to be eyeballs. And she like reaches and she's like, it's brains and throws the spaghetti out. That was funny. So there is humor in this, which is great. I like the fact that the, the people running the haunt, not at all what I expected, but like kind of also um, don't like the stereotype that they used for them with like very modified people. Like, don't do that. People are already scared of very heavily modified people. So like, don't perpetuate that bullshit. Like, just stop it. But uh, the effects in this are great. The scenery in this is great. The acting didn't bother me as much as I thought it would because typically like anyone that's playing the character of college kids can come off like they're using all those like hip buzzwords and you're just like, uh, but they're not saying it naturally. So it's like cringy and you just kind of hate them in general because you're supposed to hate them in general. But I don't know. I felt like the way they interacted with each other was funny. The guy that was, I think he was supposed to be like a Lyft driver was hilarious. He was great. His one liners. Amazing. Um, I don't know. I liked that they had a lot of uh, our main character's backstory in it, which went with her character development throughout the movie and kind of what she's trying to overcome. And uh, she's smart, you know, she does make smart decisions, which is nice to see. And the things that they put her through are horrible and she just keeps going. So she's, she's a fighter. What did I dislike about this movie? The, the, like I said, leave, leave heavily modified people alone. Um, I feel like I knew that the ending, the initial ending was one of those fake outs and that I wasn't so sure about the rest of the ending because like, get me once and then I'm not going to trust you filmmaker. <laughs> so, I mean, it was fun. It was a fun watch. I would probably watch it again next year, like during the month of October, getting myself all hyped up again for Halloween and then go to haunted attractions and just side eye everyone and be like, what are you doing? Is this real? Is it not real? Like the people that are screaming, are you actually in danger? Do you want me to punch that guy or am I going to get thrown out of the park? I feel like movies like this, like could be very dangerous for people that work in places like that. Cause if you're screaming, help me, like I, I really actually do want to help you, but I don't know if you're acting. The people in this movie were not, they were actually, you know, I mean, they were acting, but the people that were in the haunt screaming, help me could have, could have used a hand and not like a hot poker into the brain. But, and due to my post Halloween sadness, I forgot to give my rating, so I do give this a 3 out of 5. I felt like it was a really fun watch, and I definitely will watch it again, as I said. So, <laughs> happy Halloween. Anyways, I hope everyone had a really good Halloween. I watched this, I think it was on Shudder. I'm 90% sure it was on Shudder. If you haven't watched this yet, you should probably check out the trailer. Let me know what you think. Um, leave me a comment down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. 
hit the notification bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. Like the video if you like redundancy or if you enjoyed the uh, synopsis of the movie that drug on for way too long. Sorry about that. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. You can find my solo as well as reviews with the groom in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. And I'll see you later. Don't be too sad.